Valentine's. Sailor Moon. I put it in the wrong box. Now it's in my hand. It's Valentine's. <laughs> I'm so sorry to everyone who just listened to that. (laughs) Hi, everybody. Welcome to the newest episode of Minecraft Creations. I'm your lovely host, uh, Cooper Amused. And I am Midnight Victoria. Today we have some super cool designs for you to try out on your own Minecraft servers. Uh, But first we need to check out the winner from last month's Valentine's Day build. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Four incredible builds, four difficult choices. Which one was your fave? Drum roll please. Oh, that's me. Right. <laughs> the winner is our Sailor Moon inspired scepter house. Uh, Just the outside. Yes. Uh, I'm not surprised that that one won. I think that was a pretty massively cool build. I'm not going to lie. It was it was pretty cool and, and kind of different too because it's not something most people would have expected for Valentine's Day. Although, again, she does represent love and justice. I feel like I'm glad that that one is the one that won the most too because we kind of used a picture and then we kind of did our own thing yeah, with we it. Yeah, our own thing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so I feel I feel much prouder that one of our own things like that have won as opposed to one where we've seen something that's been inspired by someone else on Minecraft and made it ourselves. And now we actually have a new place to record the collaborative winners. Let's transition over there. Transition. And welcome to our collaborative Minecraft Builds winners wall. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, it, yes, yes, yes you're yes. smart, and you are. That's why you're watching these videos. Uh, you can probably tell <laughs> this is actually on the backside of the other side of the competitive wall. So. <laughs> <laughs> All in one place, you know. <laughs> we're Australians, we're lazy, we like to keep it easy. <laughs> so um, I feel like given that you came to us with the Sailor Moon idea, because you're like the Sailor Moon fan out of the both of us, let's, let's be honest. Um, I feel like you should have the honour to put the star up on the wall for Sailor Moon Scepter House. Sounds like a plan. Uh, and for those that don't know or playing at home watching this, hello. Um, we are using Never Stars as our way of recording who ha- or what uh, object or build has won the collaborative builds. So they're also in glowing signs, so they look really pretty. They kind of look like really shiny, and I like it. All right, let's put this on. Valentine's. Sailor Moon. I put it in the wrong box. Now it's in my hand. It's Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to everyone who just listened to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our first one. We've got plenty of room to grow and absolutely plenty of room to lots of opportunities in. and maybe if if you're lucky you might see some of our regular streaming friends on with us occasionally as well so you'll have to keep watching the videos and see which ones they choose to be in and community members too mm, 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 mm. we have a couple of people that we've tapped on the shoulder and we're like hello future plans Yes, 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 but we're not letting you know anything about that yet. With all that formality out of the way, let's get into some builds. What's our theme for this month, Cooper? Well, it's the month of March, and we know what March brings us. Autumn? Nanny? No, booze, mate. You Australian? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's the Paddy's Day. Paddy's Day. My bad, my bad. I mean, look how we're dressed. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. You see? You see the colours? Do you see? 
Of Even course. our farts are green. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. So like last month, due to scheduling issues, personal issues, and well, in my case, natural disasters, we are looking to be working together to create these builds again and we, then we're going to share them with you. So what's our first build, Coop? Well, our slight transition here has led us towards our first build, which happens to be a leprechaun. Whoa, that's a cool looking leprechaun. Yeah, it's even better if we go to the front. <laughs> yes. Let's go have a look. Uh, this guy is a kind of like a pixel art guy, leprechaun dude. And at the top, he's got his little clover. Although I've just realized that's a three leaf clover, not a four. Probably should have been a four because they're lucky. <laughs> You but can make it a four if people. you like, if, when you're yeah. remaking it. <laughs> uh, but we have used quite a number of different things for this. Yes, this yes, we have. Do you want me to go through them? We chose to keep it in the 2D form, though. I feel like, given its look, it suited the 2D format as opposed to a 3D format. We could have filled him out a little bit, kind of like how we brought the the clover to the front and stuff. We could have filled him out a bit, but I'm I'm kind of happy with the way he is. I think he is adorable. He's a very chipper man. And, yes, this is a reference to, I think there's a Google image or something that we've used to give us a bit of inspiring, but, like, oh, we chose the textures and all yeah. the stuff we used to fill him in and, yeah, what suited best. But, yes, well, how can you have St. Paddy's Day without a leprechaun, Mike? Exactly. So, what did we use for this beautiful leprechaun, Cooper? Okay. So, uh, for the main part of the green stuff, we're looking at green concrete, moss blocks, green wool, and lime wool. The moss was more just for the actual clover, given that it's a living organism. <laughs> the belts uh, around him and the hat of brown terracotta and of course there's touches of gold because he's a leprechaun so golds are the way to go a uh, beard the dude has a magnificent beard and his orange terracotta and wool that pulls that together for us we trace the skin to be smooth sandstone and then those little touches of uh, shadow or darker skin would be like smooth red sand sandstone eyes are white black wool and we had the pink wool for the cheekies so yeah if you want to make one of your own, I would like to see it. I'm sure Cooper would love to as well. So you can tag I'd us yes. in our Twitters. Um, I'd love to see different colours of him though. So oh, keep yes. the red beard. But can we have like a purple one? Because purple would be fantastic.
now that we've seen our massive leprechaun, <laughs> that's not a euphemism. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we looking at next for our second build? So if you follow me in this direction, you will see up on the ridge there a gigantic pot of lots of gold stuff. Look at it here, guys. We've got a whole lot of gold. We, we've got this from an image and we've decided to 3D it out and we've used lots of gold uh, stuff to fill it out, gold pressure plates, gold pieces, um, and then we've kind of put different piece, pieces of gold on the uh, item plates. We've got a beautiful, colourful rainbow, which is still a massive discuss discussion point about the colours of the rainbow. <laughs> I say it's red, yellow, pink, green, purple, orange, blue, because I'm a teacher and that's what we sing. Let me know in the comments if you actually know <laughs> what the real colours of a rainbow is. If any, and it, like you could even say Roy G. Biv and I'd know what you're talking about. Uh you know, I'm just going to leave that out there. Roy G. Biv would be my <laughs> Anyway, and we've kind of created these lovely little uh, feet on the bottom using uh, some. I do like the feet. Some, what was that, black? So we had blackstone and then we had chisel blackstone. We yeah. used a bit of deep plate too for the very bottom part. And I really, I really quite like the feet. And we've well. done different textures with the black to kind of give it a bit of a depth and stuff. <laughs> to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if we go over to our little box over here where we have all our goodies. So as I said, with the bottom of it, we used some polished blackstone bricks, chiseled polished blackstone, deep slate tiles and deep slate brick slab for the feet then we used our black concrete black, uh, bedrock and black wool to fill it out with the gilded blackstone across the top near where the gold hits kind of to give it a little bit of a shine from you know all the gold stuff inside we use blocks of gold in the inside and then we've used our glow item frame and put all these lovely little gold things in it now you can pick whatever you like we've just done a whole lot of random stuff and then we've got the different colored red uh, different color wool and i've just realized i have an egg in my inventory from those chickens that we had near us before god damn chickens <laughs> go Always figure how that happened <laughs> but yeah so i mean you can fill it with whatever you like you can put it with different colored rainbow if you prefer <laughs> because you know big discussion on that one i'd love to know even with an artist or, or a scientist who knows the actual colors I, I get told off by my kids at work saying, you are not doing the rainbow properly. The red is supposed to be here and the blue is supposed to be there. And I'm like, okay, okay. Sometimes it's, you got to pick your battles with kids. So. <laughs> <laughs>
and this leads us to our uh, time to vote. So you only have two builds to vote for between today. We have our lucky leprechaun over here with his just delicious looking beard. And then we have all the <laughs> And I love his cheeks. That... I love his I cheeks. I know, right? His cheeks are cute. <laughs> and then we have the gold bath that I believe Miss Scrooge would love to swim in. Oh, yes. I mean, pot of gold. It does kind yes. of look like a bit of a bath at the top, it doesn't does. it? <laughs> <laughs> it's more rectangular and all I could think of now is a bath. It's just well, a bath, not a pot. It's a bath of gold. Uh, for those who ha- uh, were watching the video, I'm sure you would have noticed that when we went through the speed build of it, it uh, um, it does kind of tend to look a bit like a throne halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> So it was a throne of gold at one point. Maybe someone was laying some gold nuggets in there for us. Yeah. Actually, I think there's a nugget in here. There it is. There's a nugget right there. Hello, nugget. <laughs> so where can people go and vote, Coop? Uh, down below there will be links to the, the uh, straw poll, which you'll also find on both of our Twitters so that you can vote for the build that you like best, whether it is the gorgeous leprechaun over here behind me or the delicious swimming bath of gold, uh, as I will now refer to it, <laughs> pot of gold with our rainbow of much discussion uh, involved <laughs> as well. Uh, if you want to go check out all of our previous builds, even though the uh, – valentine's day ones that you may have missed all the links are down below but also should be popping up on the screen for those playlists to go check out as well we have both competitive ones where we're building against each other as well as collaborative ones like the valentine's day one i have to say i do prefer the collaborative ones but it is nice every now and then to have a bit of a competitiveness yeah yes darling yes yes so Thank you, Hank, hanging out. Make sure you join us next month to see who the lucky winner is of our St. Paddy's builds. Thank you for hanging out. You guys are awesome. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it and check out our other vids. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.